Hello, and welcome back to part 3 of the Biozenon Morimoto Mini Stage 3 installation. In the last video, we left off at the separation of the headlight halves, so let's resume from there. Since I'll be installing the halos on the reflective cylinder ends, the reflector assembly needs to come out. There are five self-tapping screws holding it on. One, two, three, four, and five. As you can see, this last screw is blocked by some butyl rubber. A Dremel multi-purpose cutting bit will make short work of it. Proceed with removing the five screws, then pull evenly on both ends to lift the reflector assembly out. Time for the halos. They will be positioned at the front of the reflectors, one of which I painted black. In this case, they will be suspended rather than attached to the shroud face. For wire routing, cut a notch here and here. Looking at one of the rings, they have three built-in mounting points seen close up here. Clear these holes using 28 gauge steel wire. Align the rings so you have an idea where to drill the holes for mounting. Use a 1 32nd bit and drill two holes on top of, not next to, each other about 1 16th inch apart. Cut a decent piece of the 28 gauge wire roughly 8 inches in length and thread it through the mounting hole. Take the top piece and push it through the top hole then the bottom piece through the bottom hole. It's very important to leave the wires loose for alignment. With the ring secured, note where the other mounting hole is on the ring and drill two holes like before. Again, thread the mounting hole and pull the wires through the reflector cylinder. Be mindful of the wires as you pull because you don't want them to kink or curl. Check your alignment one more time and drill another two holes. Threading the last one is the most difficult. I recommend doing the bottom hole first. Then, keep a large bend in the upper wire as you pull it through. When complete, you'll be able to maneuver the ring around in order to get it centered. Twist each wire into a pigtail and cut off the excess. Finally, push the pigtails down on all three of the mounting points. There you have it, one halo installed. The second halo is an identical install, so I'll cover the highlights again. Clear the mounting holes with the wire you intend on using to secure it to the headlight. Position the halo where you want it and take note of where the mounting hole is. Drill two holes, one above the other. Then, thread the wire through the halo and into the headlight. Keep this loose until the other two are done as well. Check the halo alignment and, like the first one, drill two holes at each of the other mounting points. Thread wire through, but don't tighten. Position the halo so that it is centered in the reflector cylinder, then systematically twist the wires to tighten it down. Finalize all this by taping down the wires. With the reflector cylinders done, it's time to return to the projectors. We left off with the shroud-centric ring adhering to the shroud. The next step is to attach the shroud to the projector via the centric ring. Unpack that new projector. I use gloves on these next steps because the last thing I want is smudges on the lens. Remove the hardware from the back of the projector. This includes three screws holding the bulb bracket in place and the nut on the projector shank. The install instructions recommend cycling the high beam solenoid. To do that, Connect the solenoid lead to the bottom of the projector. Touch the brown wire to the negative terminal and the white wire to the positive. The solenoid should actuate. You can see it actuating at the bottom of the projector here. Do this the recommended 50 times. Moving on to the shroud. What you're going to want to do is JB weld all around the metal rim on the projector. You don't want to do it on the shroud, because there is a greater risk of getting the JP weld on the lens. Hold the projector up and apply a thin coat all the way around. Go slow. This part isn't a race. Next, have an idea what part of the shroud you want in the 12 o'clock position. 
remember this is the top of the projector. Gently slide the shroud over the section you just applied JB Weld to. Here you can twist the shroud in order to line it up. Then, push the two pieces into each other firmly. Visually check for uneven gaps between the back of the shroud and the projector housing. Once you are satisfied, put the set aside to cure. I placed mine on a roll of tape because the lens protruded just enough to prevent me from setting it face down on the shroud. And fast forward through cure time. In order to attach the projector to the back of the reflector bowl, you'll need the silicone washer, aluminum nut which is meant to crush when tightened so be careful with it, the retaining slash alignment washer, a ratchet, and a whopping 1 and 1 16th inch socket. Be sure to use gloves during this step because you'll need to apply pressure to the projector by pushing on the lens. Orient your projector so that the word top is, well, on the top. Install the silicone washer so the curve matches that of the projector. Thread the high beam solenoid wires through the rear of the reflector bowl. Pull them so that they pass into the notch seen here. Install the metal washer on the rear of the reflector bowl. It has a notch that will mate with the channel on the shank. Place the nut on the threads and move it around until it bites. Be careful not to cross-thread this thing. When it is on correctly, it will spin with ease. Cinch it down finger tight for now. To do that, apply pressure up here on the lens. You don't want to apply pressure to the shroud on the outside because that is what we have fixed earlier and don't want to risk breaking it. I recommend placing your thumb on the reflector bowl as seen here for leverage. This part can be tedious. You'll find yourself maneuvering the projector around in the headlight multiple times before finally getting it straight. The important thing to remember is don't fully tighten the nut until it's where you want it. Doing so will warp the threads on the aluminum nut. With it in place, push against the lens of the projector to compress that silicone washer. Use the 1 and 1 16th socket and tighten the nut all the way down. Well, that does it for this section. Join me in the next and last segment where I go over the headlight wiring and reassembly. I'd like to thank my suppliers at theretrofitsource.com and all the viewers. Till next time.